Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast from meteorologist Jeremy Wheeler. All right, we're looking at the latest on Florence, and, uh, you know, it, it's changed. It's not looking like a classical hurricane at the moment in the sense that there's some gaps in here. And even in the eye wall uh, at the moment, there are some gaps. Now, maybe it's because of the distance from the radar, but uh, this may be weakening a little bit more than forecast. So let's take a look at it. So this is the latest Super Doppler 10, and there are some definite bands in there, and they are wrapping around the center. There's definitely a circulation. It is definitely a hurricane. It's just uh, the structure may be changing a little bit. Now, it is about 160 miles to the southeast of Wilmington, give or take, and it's moving off in that direction. Uh, some of the rain bands are already making their way onto land over North Carolina, and this is more of a steady shield of rain over Hatteras at the moment. So that's falling. Now we're getting some of these rain bands to come in around southern shores, around Manio, you've got around Kerala, and these rain bands push quickly inland. Now there may be some isolated tornadoes in these. We've already had some warnings very close to our area, just to our south. I'm watching this area, heavy rain. There's no warning here, but south of Windsor, there is some heavy rain moving to the west. Scattered showers up into Gates County, Hertford County. Uh, it's quiet in Virginia Beach, except for on the south end. Some rains finally come in there. That is down towards the uh, Blackwater area. That's moving west. And then also into Suffolk, you've got some scattered showers. Isle of Wight, you got it into Sussex County, Surrey County, and some of that goes up to the peninsula too. So James City County, Northern York County, Gloucester. Matthews on the north end and uh, Middlesex County. You've got some showers there. Not too much on the eastern shore at this time. Here is the latest information. Winds of 105 miles an hour moving northwest at 10. And it is forecast to move in towards Wilmington by tomorrow morning. The center of it anyway. We're seeing the outer reaches of it though affect our area. But the center will move over land there. Weakened going into Saturday, and then Sunday into Monday, it moves north and weakens even more, becomes a rainmaker. So here's what you can expect, some of the conditions you can expect from this system. Rain, about five to nine inches of rain possible for the Outer Banks, especially on the southern end. Uh, over 10 inches is possible. I may back off that a little bit if the storm keeps moving on its current track. But either way, we're expecting some hefty rain. Winds 45 to 55. We could see some gusts to 74 miles an hour, which is hurricane force. I don't think that's going to be the norm. I think that'll be the exception. But still, four to seven foot storm surge across the southern outer banks and also the western edge of the uh, Albemarle Sound. Now we're talking about inland northeast North Carolina. You could also see some high so uh, storm surge, four to six feet. So, also the winds 25 to 35 miles an hour, gust to 60 miles an hour, and the rain 5 to 8 inches. Locally, could be more than that. We'll see. But we're talking now from Currituck County all the way back to Ahoski and Hertford County. Now, let's look at the south side. Here's Virginia Beach in through Suffolk, Franklin. You got rain 3 to 5 inches, could see some locally three, uh, 6 inches, and then you've got 25 to 35 mile an hour winds, gust to 45. Moderate tidal flooding. Most of all this I'm talking about is tomorrow, but we're getting some gusty winds in already today. The peninsulas, Hampton and Gloucester, three to five inches possible. Winds uh, 20 to 30 miles an hour, gust to 40, and some moderate to major tidal flooding up in the rivers around Jamestown and also around Yorktown. You could see some moderate to major tidal flooding there. Uh, eastern shore, northern neck, not as bad, two to four inches, minor tidal flooding for you. All right, so we got some strong winds out there. Let's analyze that, and to help me out with it is meteorologist Deidre Tate. Oh, yeah, right. The gusts are up to about 35 miles per hour over in Norfolk at the airport. It has come up quite a bit, and we have gusts over 40 over towards Cape Hatteras. Again, that is officially a tropical storm force, and we're expecting it to reach hurricane force when gusts across parts of the Outer Banks as we head on into tomorrow primarily. Right now, sustained winds are basically about 15 to 20 miles per hour, up to about 25 miles per hour as you make your way towards uh, areas near uh, Elizabeth City, a little bit stronger than that, possibly towards the coast. And right now, sustained wind over at Hatteras, uh, roughly about 20 miles per hour. But again, gusts have been higher. So the rain, most of it is still into northeastern North Carolina, primarily the Outer Banks. We're expecting the uh, outer rain bands to continue to kind of filter in. We've already seen a few showers in some spots. It's getting a little squally, and we're expecting that to continue as we head towards later this evening. By 7, 8 o'clock, we could have a wide coverage of rain as some of the outer rain bands will start to shift further north, impacting possibly the eastern shore and the middle peninsula. So some heavy downpour, some gusty winds for sure, and we're expecting that to continue through tonight. And then, of course, by tomorrow, the coverage of rain will be more widespread. So as far as the timing again this afternoon, more of those rain bands sliding in, definitely becoming more and more breezy. As we head towards later tonight, we're expecting 
rain to be likely across the area with the winds gusting up to about 40 miles per hour for a good portion of the area. And then by Friday, again, that's when we're expecting the worst of the conditions with a lot of rain. We're going to have windy conditions, and we're also expecting moderate tidal flooding for the area. Specifically for Sewell's Point, we're going to look at uh, the update here. Uh, we dropped it uh, for what's basically happening around now to about 4.8, but that's still the minor range. As we head towards tonight, it's going to go up to about 5.2 feet. And then as we work towards tomorrow afternoon's high tide and Saturday morning's high tide, we're expecting more of the moderate level. Here's a look at some of the tides for other places. And again, take note of Kerala Friday midday, looking at the potential for some major tidal flooding. So here's a look at your seven day forecast. Again, conditions going down as we head towards tonight. All right, Deitra, thank you very much. And it's fascinating to hear what you say, Jeremy, about the storm and how there were certain spots on it that just aren't showing up on the radar. Yeah, and just you have uh, concern, not concerns, but you think that it might be breaking mm -hmm. up. Uh, maybe a little bit. Yeah, it's, it doesn't have a classic shape where you've got the solid mass of rain around it. There's there's a very bi big gap in there, so I wonder what that's going to do to the yeah. forecast. The update will be an update at uh, 2 p.m. The bigger update comes out at 5 p.m. from the National Hurricane Center. That might be where we really learn some things about this storm.